information going around on the internet about the PM 2.5 mask um, and whether it's better than this disposable mask. And the truth of the matter is that it's better than nothing. And I actually researched all the articles. Um, I included the article down below that I read and it pretty much says that they don't really know. And the masks that are um, being sold online are actually not certified so they don't know whether it's actually doing what it claims to be doing. And so when faced with the question like, should I waste 10 to $15 on one of these uh, PM 2.5 masks to prevent myself from getting coronavirus? Um, the answer, answer is simple, like it's equivalent to wearing this with a filter. And this is my only option because um, masks where I live are sold out and um, even though I do work in the healthcare, like it would be selfish of me to take these from work because uh, we are limited on supplies and, you know, we need them to protect ourselves from the patients and protect them from us, us from them, you know? And so, um, I was going with this little headscarf for a while and I found there is definitely problems with this headscarf. For one, well, they call it a bandana, right? For one, it doesn't say front or back. And so if you're putting this on and then throwing it in the car and then picking it up again and putting it on, all the virus probably came on the front and then when you turn it around, you don't know it because it's no front or back, you can potentially get the coronavirus that way, like bam. Also, like um, when you're taking it off, say for instance you grab it again to put it on and maybe you're a, you think like, oh, you know, I don't want to accidentally put this part on my mouth, so you put like front and back. Okay, so if you grab it like this and then put it on yourself, you could potentially be getting the virus on your hands, either side of your hand, so that's risky. And so the only option is like, oh, okay, so let me just grab it by here. I see which one is the front and then I put it on this way. You know, it's curling up a little bit. You see how it's curling up like that? And so either way it goes, this thing is going to get contaminated and it's cool that you can just throw it in the wash and have a bunch of these and put them on every single day, which is helpful, but you know, I think it's really too thin to do much of anything. And if it was recommended that we use these scarves for our own protection, then I feel like the PM 2.5 mask is definitely better than um, this headscarf and if that PM 2.5 mask is just a headscarf with a filter I feel comfortable buying it because it keeps me from touching my mouth, which I'm always touching my face and It also just keeps me aware of like people coughing and how to move around them and Like to wash my hands frequently. So am I buying one of those masks that are available online? Yes, I am because I just want to prevent myself from touching my face at all costs and I want to have something on my mouth that is not going to restrict my breathing too much because the fact of the matter is um, you shouldn't be overconfident wearing the P2.5 mask because it doesn't actually help you. It's, it's not like a proven fact that it will help you from getting the coronavirus. Um, so if you see someone coughing and you just say, oh, it's fine, I have a mask, that would not be smart. Uh, I just wanted to make this short video because I know that answer wasn't online, but um, yeah. The PM 2.5 mask is not um, equivalent to the N95 mask or if you're wondering that. I uh, work in the healthcare field and so I do have access to the N95 mask. They gave us an option to wear them and honestly that mask is so hard to breathe in. Like. I can see me wearing it, at least keeping it on my face for a good hour to two hours, but anything past that is like super hard to breathe. It's like feeling as if you have a pillow on your face. And I'm one of those per people who have like those paralyzing dreams where you have something on your mouth, but your hands can't move to take it off you. And so it starts making me super like uncomfortable wearing that kind of mask. So I do 
wear the disposable mask and throw them away every single day that I use them, which I know is very wasteful. And I would keep on being wasteful and buying more masks, but where I live, masks are sold out everywhere. And so the PM 2.5 is a second option for me that's better than nothing, keeps me from touching my face and keeps me aware of my surroundings. So do you want to buy it? Don't buy it for the wrong reasons, thinking that you are now immune to disease. It's just um, basically a headscarf, a bandana with a filter. Okay, bye guys. Just wanted to make that quick video. For all of you who haven't watched my previous videos, I did this segment where I give you guys a sample of things that I'm listening to and right now I'm listening to truth music and I've chosen a few artists that I think that you guys would like also. Um, this artist is Marcus Rogers who is a man of God and he does a lot of videos um, to try to uh, get the truth out there about the gospel and I just love... Um, his YouTube channel, but he made one song that I am just currently listening to on repeat, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. King Jesus, King Jesus, King Jesus, we praise you, Lord. King Jesus, King Jesus, King Jesus, reigns on. Faces. Looking for the answers in all the wrong places. It's hard to bring it home when you don't know a home base. Hit the blind, lead the blind every day. Can you save me? I wonder if I followed you, where would it take me? I wanna know my purpose, God. Why did you make me? The Bible not 